Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing today about the polynomial and this is lecture number 3. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 2 before watching this part 3. In this lecture, we will discuss about the relation between zeros of polynomial and coefficient of polynomial. So, let us discuss today about the zero of polynomial and coefficient of polynomial. So, <coughs> So, let us discuss today relation between zeros of polynomial and coefficient of polynomials. Quadratic polynomial px square, px is equal to x square plus bx plus c, a, b, c are coefficient and a is not equal to 0. Why a is not equal to 0? Because in case if a is equal to 0, in that case, what will happen? This will be bx plus c and that will be considered as linear polynomial. So, if <coughs> alpha and beta are the zero of polynomial zero of polynomial then sum of zeros is equal to sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a that is we can say alpha plus beta is minus b by a alpha plus beta is what minus b by a alpha plus beta is minus b by a so we will write here alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and what is b that b is nothing else but coefficient of x coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square coefficient of x square so b is coefficient of x but there is a minus b so we will write minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square similarly product of zeros product of zeros is um, c upon a and what is that c c is constant term constant term divided by coefficient of x square a is what coefficient of x square and so we can write simply product of zero is that is nothing else but alpha into beta is equal to <coughs> alpha into beta alpha into beta is equal to minus b by a. So, we will write here alpha into beta is equal to minus b by a. Then, if you have to, uh, you have zeros of polynomial and you want to find the polynomial exactly, then what you will do? So, to find the polynomial, to find the polynomial, <coughs> whose zeros are zeros are alpha and beta so we can write it like x square k times of x square minus sum of zeros zeros into x plus product of zeros product of zeros this is the polynomial. Polynomial is nothing else but like this. So, we can write k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. This is a polynomial. Either this or this. You can write. So, polynomial is written like dx is equal to this or this. <coughs> so, polynomial which zeros are known can be uh, Okay, by using this formula x square minus sum of zeros into x into product of zeros. So, this is what I hope you got it. So, now let me show why this happened. If I would write here that px is equal to some k times of 
x square minus alpha plus beta is minus b by a into x plus alpha beta h what um, b by a alpha beta h c by a so if i would write here c by a then this will come like <coughs> px is equal to k times of ax square minus minus plus bx plus c whole divided by a and this is nothing else but k times of k by a this is a constant and this polynomial x square plus bx plus b so multiplier in any number in polynomial will not affect the zero value of zero so this is something a constant kx square 1 by a is something k so k is here 1 by k so you may write like this so polynomial can be obtained by using this fact ax square plus bx plus c so i hope you got it now let us consider if polynomial is cubic if polynomial is cubic if given polynomial is cubic polynomial is cubic cubic polynomial so that is px is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d like this then since it is a cubic polynomial so it has three zeros so cubic let alpha beta and gamma are zeros of polynomial polynomial px polynomial px right so in that case <coughs> sum of zeros will be sum of zeros will be minus b by a and that case sum of zeros taken one at a time that can be considered as taken one at a time one at a time it means what it means <coughs> polynomial has sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b by a so alpha plus beta plus gamma that is minus b by a and what is b coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x cube that is coefficient of x square divided by minus coefficient of x cube coefficient of x cube <coughs> that is the sum of zeros now sum of zeros taken two at a time sum of zeros taken product two at a time so you can write sum of zeros of the product taken two at a time taken two at a time at a time that is alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma that is c by a that is alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to minus coefficient of x <coughs> whole divided by coefficient of x cube coefficient of x cube that is now product of all zeros will be what product of all zeros so we will write product of all zeros zeros so three zeros are what that is d by minus d by a and what is that the alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a that is constant term whole divided by coefficient of x cube x cube so we have a constant term divided by coefficient of x cube so we can write alpha beta gamma is equal to alpha beta gamma alpha beta gamma is 
to minus d by a. So again, if you have to find the polynomial, then to find the polynomial, the polynomial whose zeros are alpha, beta, gamma, whose zeros are given alpha, beta, and gamma h px is equal to something k times x q minus sum of zeros alpha beta gamma into x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into x minus alpha beta gamma. <coughs> this is what the formula. So you should remember this. How can you obtain this such thing? So let me write here k if I could write here x q this is minus b by a right x square plus this is c by a into x minus d by a and that will come up as some constant times k by a and x q minus minus plus b x square a x q minus b x plus b x square plus c x plus b a will be the LCM and which will come over. So some constant times of this. So polynomial is same degree and zeros will not make difference if you multiply by some constant. So in that case, <coughs> this will come. Now uh, we should go for some question. Now we are looking for solving exercise 2.2, exercise 2.2 and in that one the first question which is given is find the zeros of poly quadratic polynomial zeros of the following quadratic polynomial following quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship the relationship between zero job polynomial zero job polynomial and their sum and product sum and product of polynomials product of zero of polynomials verify the relationship between sum product of zero of polynomials simply sum and product okay. so first question is what is the first question let us discuss the very first question is given here that uh, first x square minus 2x minus 8 so as we have learned that uh, to find the zero of polynomial, uh, this polynomial to be put is equal to zero, right? So we will put this is equal to zero, two x minus zero. Now this is x minus four x plus two x minus eight is equal to zero. Middle term is splitting, and what is that? That will be if I take x common, x minus four, and if I take two common from here, x minus four is equal to zero. So x minus 4 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So this will be 0 if and only if one of them is equal to 0. Isn't it? So that will be 0 if and only if one of them is 0. So if x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So either x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2. So these are the so 4 and minus 2 are zeros of polynomial, zeros of polynomial, right. So now we will write sum of zeros here just to verify them, we will write here to verify them, I will write here. So, Oh. 
let us do sum of zeros what is a here comparing with comparing with x square the c here a is equal to what 1 b is nothing else but minus 2 and c is minus 8 now sum of zeros sum of zeros is therefore sum of zeros is 4 plus minus 2 what is that that is 2 and 2 can be written as 2 divided by 1 and what is 2 sum of zeros 2 is minus of minus 2 by 1 can be written as that is minus coefficient of what x square 4 divided by coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square this is what it is coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x coefficient of x this is the sum of 0 so verified similarly product of zeros product of zeros is nothing else but 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 which can be written as minus 8 by 1 and what is that minus 8 is nothing else but c by a isn't it and c is what constant term constant term divided by coefficient of x square x square so this is what proof so i hope uh, this is correct now second question let us discuss second question similarly so here uh, question is x square minus 2x minus 8 that is 4x square minus 4x plus 1 that can be written like this 2s minus 1 4 square is equal to 0 2s minus 1, 2s minus 1 is equal to 0. So, s is equal to half and s is equal to half. Sum of zeros, what is the relation? These are the two zeros. I can say 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 are two zeros. And this 1 by 2 is 1 zero, 1 by 2, this one is 1 zero. So, these two sum of zeros. Now, we can verify sum of zeros is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1. This is one equation. Say like this. And as per formula, the relationship is described as alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. And what is b here? If I compare with ax square plus bx plus c, we will get a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 1. b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 1. b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 1. So, we can write here a uh, minus of minus 4 by 4, uh, a is 4. So, we will write here this is 4 by 4, 1. So, this is also the same thing. Similarly, product of zeros, if I will calculate product of zero, then these two are the zeros. So, product of zero is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, that is 1 by 4. And as per relationship, product of zero, that is alpha plus alpha into beta is c by a. And what is c there? C is nothing else but C is 1. So 1 and A is 4. So A by 4. So that has been verified that sum of 0 j is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. That is verified. And product of 0 is 1. What is that? Constant term. This one is nothing else but constant term. And 4 is coefficient of x square. So we can verify like this. In first question, let me revise this once again so that uh, you will be able to do yourself some questions. x square minus 2x minus z. We can split middle term. And how you can split middle term? Just product of first and third is minus 8. You have to break them and uh, such that the product will be minus 8 and sum will be minus 2. So, if minus 4 and 2 will be there, then their sum will be minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 and minus 4 multiplied by 2 is minus 8. So, using this concept, we will uh, write here the factor of middle term, two factors of middle term will be minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. So, if I would take x common from here, then what will happen? x minus 4 
if I would take 2 common then x minus 4, x minus 4 if I would take common then it will be x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, product of two linear factor is equal to 0, it means either one of them is equal to 0 or other one is equal to 0. So, either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, in that case either x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2. So, in that case x is equal to 4 and minus 2 are two zeros of polynomial. Now, we have to verify the relationship. So, and there are two zeros minus 4 and minus 2. We can compare the equation with a quadratic polynomial x square plus bx plus c. What is a? a is coefficient of x square that is 1. What is coefficient of uh, what is b that is coefficient of x that is minus 2 and what is c that is minus 8. So, we can write it here a b c sum of zeros what two zeros has come one is 4 another is minus 2 4 plus minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2 that is 2 by 1. The same can be written as minus of minus 2 by 1 and minus what is minus 2 that is coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. So, we can write it coefficient of x square. So, sum of 0 is verified and sum of 0 is this is the formula that minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. Product of 0 is that is 4 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 8 divided by 1. So, it will be a constant term. What is minus 8? That is a constant term and coefficient of x square that is 1. So, the, in this way this has been verified. So, I hope you got it. Okay. Now, let us discuss some more question. The third one is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x. So, this polynomial can be rewrite in a standard form like 6x square minus 7x minus 3 and to find zeros we have to put them 0. Now, 6, 3 is 18. So, what will be the factor of these two? If I will multiply these two, then that will be minus 18. So, product of these two will be, so that the sum will be 7 and product will be 18. That will be 9 and 2. So, we can write it 6x square minus 9x plus 2x so that it will be minus 7. Minus 3 is equal to 0 and that may come up what I can take common from these two? x and apart from x what we can take common? 3. So, 3x I can take common. So, that will be 2x minus 3 and what is can we take common? Nothing in common. So, we can take 1 common from there. So, that will be 2x minus 3 and 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, either 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, either 2x is equal to 3 or 3x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to 3 by 2 or x is equal to minus 1 by 3. So, these two are zeros of polynomial. Right now? So, two zeros are polynomial is what? The value of x which will satisfy and bring the equation is equal to 0. So, minus 3 by 2, 2 0 jar say alpha is minus 3 by 2 and beta is minus 1 by 2 say. Now, now we have to go for sum of 0 and product of 0. So, what will be that? Let us discuss this. So, sum of 0 will be in that case. sum of zeros. Now, is again we will write if I would write here comparing with comparing with ax square plus bx plus c polynomial we will find here comparing with ax square plus bx plus c we will find a is equal to 6, b is equal to minus 7 because b is coefficient of x and c is minus 3. Now, sum of 0 is sum of 0 is what? Sum of 0 is minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3. Minus 3 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3. 
so that will be 3 3 ja 9 minus 9 minus 2 upon 6 that is minus 11 upon 6 3 by 2 is positive sorry 3 by 2 is positive here that is positive and this one is negative so 3 by 2 that is minus 9 minus 2 so what is that that is 7 by 2 7 by 6 so 7 by 6 and what is 7 7 is minus b 7 is minus of b and 6 is what a so that is nothing else but coefficient of minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square so this can be described as minus coefficient of x of x upon coefficient of x square right similarly product of zeros zeros is 3 by 2 multiply by 1 by 3 so 3 3 cancel what is that minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 can be written as minus 3 by 6 also if I multiply by 3 numerator and denominator what is that this is c by a and that is coefficient constant term constant term divided by coefficient of x square coefficient of x square so product of 0 is c by a and sum of 0 is minus b by a that has been verified some more questions we can take up quickly and these are question number 4 that is 4 u square plus 8 u if i put is equal to 0 then in that case 4 u i can take common and that would be u plus 2 is equal to 0 so either 4 u is equal to 0 or u plus 2 is equal to 0 so either u is equal to 0 or u is equal to minus 2 now we can verify them sum of zeros zero is what minus 2 plus 0 that is minus 2 what is that minus 2 by can be written as minus 8 by 4 and what is that this is minus b by a minus b by a since here c is what is a here a is 4 b is coefficient of 8 that is 8 and c is 0 nothing else so we can do like this and product of zeros zeros is equal to minus 2 into 0 that is 0 and 0 can be written as 0 by 4 that is c by a so this has been verified now similarly question number 5 what is that let us see that is t square minus 15 is equal to 0 so we can write t square is equal to 15 and t is equal to plus minus root 15 so two zeros are root 15 and minus root 15 now again to verify them sum of zeros sum of zeros what is a here if i compare this comparing ax square bx plus c we will get what a is equal to here 1 b is coefficient of t that is 0 and c is minus 15 so sum of zeros zeros is plus root 15 minus root 15 is equal to 0 and 0 is nothing else but 0 by 1 that is minus b by a can be right and product of zeros zeros will be uh, root 15 plus into minus root 15 is equal to minus plus minus minus and root 15 into root 15 is 15 root 15 and root 15 is 15 so that is nothing else but c by a so verified now last question is 
of this first type is similarly 3x square minus 6 minus 4 is equal to 0. So 4 3 are 12. So again we can break it like minus 4x plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. If I would take common then 3x minus 4 and 1 if I would take common then x minus 4 is equal to 0. So what is that? 3x minus 4 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. That is x is equal to 4 by 3 if this is equal to 0 or if x plus 1 is equal to 0 then minus 1. Now again you can verify the same thing. Sum of zeros that is alpha plus eta sum just writing sum. Sum is nothing else but 4 by 3 minus plus minus 1 that is 1 by 3 that is what minus b by a which is minus b by a and product is product is 4 by 3 into minus 1 that is minus 4 by 3 that is nothing else but c by a. So uh, we can verify like this. I hope you got it, isn't it? So ये सारे questions आप समझ गए। अब अगली class में फिर हम बात करेंगे इसपे और जो आगे के questions होंगे उसको किया जाएगा और फिर आगे की बात की जाएगी। Till then, I hope you are doing well और इसको बढ़िया से revise कर लेना और please subscribe this channel. Thank you. God bless.